Hey, hey, happy day. Liberals, you know what? They're dumb as toasters. They just make me wild. Socialism, it violates at least two of the Ten Commandments, aside from a whole bunch of other violations, but we'll go with the Ten Commandments just for the moment. Thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not covet, right? Socialism is foreplay for communism, and that's all it is. Communism is just uh, socialism in a hurry. They all get to the same place, which is total control, brain control, body control, people control. That's what they are about. Limousine socialists, Bernie Sanders, Justin Trudeau, you guys have to have this, but I get to have that because I'm special. You can't have anybody protecting your life, but I got guys all around me with guns, and I got limos, and I got champagne, and you little peasants. Bad, bad, bad. These elite people, they got to be in charge of the peasantry, <laughs> and that would be you and me. Not nice. In North Korea, in North Korea, all the people in the House, the parliament people, the elected people, and we're really not elected, we all know that, <clears throat> but they all go with what the leader says, right? He says, we're having this vote, and they all say, yes, yes, we're there too. Guess what other country does the same? Canada. 99.9% .9 of all members of parliament in Canada do what the leader says. Wow, why do we vote for these morons? They might as well stay home. <laughs> Let's just pay them to not show up even. It'll be a little more entertaining, right? Because then you don't have that stuff to look at every day. At least you can kind of entertain it. I got other words than that, but, but that's the truth. That's bad. That, that, that's bad. The system is corrupt. All you members of parliament who are watching this, and many of you are, would you maybe cowboy up a little bit? Isn't it time? You know, represent the people that put you there. Stop doing this other stuff all the time. The leader says this and the leader says that. You imagine who would have ever thunk that a little guy like that, Justin Trudeau, would be able to manage, to own, to have his own ATM machine and to run a country like it's his own little playpen. Wow, because nobody talks. And yet you continue to say, the people voted for me and I work for our people. You don't. Wake up. That'd be good. Canada has no official way to measure who's in the middle class. <laughs> we actually have a ministry now. We have a minister of middle class. This is unbelievable. The Five Mistake of Canada made this new creation and appointment of this. And, and this woman, she says, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What is middle class? You know, we're in, we're in a class system now, right? You got first class, which of course is a prime mistake. And then you got middle and you got low class. We're all gonna be low class pretty soon. Nobody could afford anything else. And, and the minister of middle class, that's insulting by the way, she says there's no official way to measure who's middle class anyway. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm selling hamburgers and nobody knows what a hamburger is, so I, I think I'm going to sell pizza. Boy, oh boy. In British Columbia, Canada, here's another example of socialism, stupidism, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because they own, like other provinces, the insurance blah, 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 for cars, ICBC, communist, communist, blah, blah, blah. In Alberta, where it's still free, BC drivers pay 42% more than Albertans do for car insurance. I got lots more I could say about that, but you get it, right? Our payment for running this show is you. Your comments and so on and your input, give it to us, hey? Hey, blah, blah, blah. And we'll see you tomorrow.